Greetings, my lovelies. Hi, it's Emmy. Welcome back to another What You Eatin'. This is the series that started it all. If you've missed my previous episodes of What You Eatin', which I did back when I was in Japan, I shall point you to the playlist, which includes, I think, over 200 videos of these Japanese candy making kits. So I haven't done one of these in a while, so I thought I'd do one today. And today's kit is this one. And this is the Poppin' Cookin' Tanoshi Omatsuriyan. So this little kit makes candy versions of snacks that you find at Matsuri. So Matsuri are summer festivals that are held all over Japan. And these are some of the treats that you might have, including French fries and candied apples, candy bananas, and corn. Here's all the instructions. This looks like a pretty involved kit. The one I'm really excited about making is the corn one. It looks like you have little kind of candy dragees that you roll the corn pieces into to make little kernels. Super cute. So many of you know that I've been keeping bees and about three days ago, I went to go refill the syrup bottle in my beehive and it was pretty late in the evening and I shook the syrup bottle and one of the bees clocked me right under my eye right here. So if you follow me on Instagram at all, you saw my story that my eye started to swell and it didn't close completely, but I did look very Quasimodo-like. But now three days later, I'm almost back to normal. I'm slightly poofy on the side a bit, but uh, generally speaking, I am back to normal and I'm grateful for that. All right, let's go ahead and start making our little Matsuri kit. Oh, I don't like it when it doesn't open cleanly. <sighs> popping cooking, popping cooking. When you go to Matsuri, there's all these little lovely booths that sell kakigori, which is the shaved ice, or yakisoba, which is the stir-fried noodles, or takoyaki, all kinds of stands that have great kind of essentially fair food. So this is what this is going to be, and this is where we're gonna place our finished items when we're done. So this looks like it's going to be the cone for our french fries, or potato. So we'll go ahead and assemble that while we're at it. So then we're just gonna roll this up and use a little piece of scotch tape. Oh, curses. Ta-da. All right, there we go. Last bit here is going to be <laughs> so this is where we're gonna cut our potatoes and this is where we're gonna measure our banana candy later. Banana packet, potato packet, chocolate sauce, looks like the corn pellets, candy apple mix, sprinkles, toothpicks, some kind of taffy, a little spatula, and our tray. First thing we're gonna do is cut our tray. So in this little floppy thing right here, we're going to put two scoops of water. One, two. Now we're gonna add our candy apple mix. It's already starting to thicken up. Now we're gonna pour that into our tray. And now we're just gonna set that aside and let that gel up for a little bit. All right, so now we're gonna make the potato mix. And in this tray, one scoop of water and our potato mixture. Doesn't smell like potato, it smells sweet. Get. Yeah, it definitely smells sweet. This is not gonna be potato flavored, not like the hamburger set where the French fries actually tasted like French fries. Now we're gonna use our impeccably clean finger and press this into the mold. Okay, so when we have a nice little flat, even patty, come on. Come on, there it goes, sort of. All right. Kind of crunchy. Now we're gonna take our little cone and place our fries in there. These definitely don't have the texture or feel of French fries, but they do look like them. All right, very cute. Now we're gonna grab our little stand and we'll put the potato right there. So our apples are setting, our fries are done. Now we're going to make our corn and we're gonna open this little bit of taffy. Ooh, it's very, very soft. Nice and pliable. Ooh, it smells great. It smells like lemon. Ah, I love the citrus flavors. Okay, so warm that up a little bit in our palms. And this is going to be our little measuring stick here. This is the part that I'm really excited about. 
Now we're gonna take this little packet and in here are tiny little sprinkles. Oh, I love that, it's so satisfying. All right, that sucked. All right, so now we're gonna take a little candy chew and we're going to roll it into the beads. And slowly push and roll. Push and roll. It's working! Oh my gosh. Oh, spoke too soon. Oh yes, look how lined up they are. Beautiful, beautiful, that turned out great. So here is our little corn. Now we'll take number two, do the same thing. Press, roll, press, roll, press, roll. Cute. Okay, moving on. Two scoops of water, one, two. And now we'll add our banana packet. Mix that well. Now that it's formed into a bit of a dough, we're gonna knead it with our fingers a bit. Cut that into thirds and fill the mold. Kinda have to work a little bit quickly here because this stuff is already starting to kinda set. Okay, so now that we have our bananas molded, now we're going to make our chocolate sauce. One scoop of water, and now we're gonna add our chocolate. Choco sauce. Push them from the bottom. And we've got little bananas. How stinking cute. Boonk. They even have a little line. So now we're gonna take our bananas and skewer them. Pour those out. Add some chocolate to our banana. Okay. Sprinkles make everything cheerier, don't they? And finally, we're gonna get our candy apples out. Pop those guys out. Boink. Poke them right at the top. And your second one. And there are our Omatari treats. Unlike some other kits that I've tried, they just don't turn out as perfectly. The pop and cooking ones are quality and they always do seem to turn out. So, love that about these kits. Let's try the French fry potatoes. They look very realistic but they don't feel that realistic, nor do they smell it, but let's give that a go. Itadakimasu. They actually taste pretty good. They've got a strange kind of gritty quality to them and a little bit gummy and wet, but the flavor of them is great. Kind of like fruit punchy and fruity, a bit like those Japanese gums that you get at like the Hello Kitty store. That's almost like a haichu or something, it's delicious. That's surprising. The texture is odd but the flavor is quite good. Mm -hmm. Now the corn I'm super excited about because I smelled them and they smelled like lemon. And in terms of the experience of this whole kit, the corn was my favorite, absolutely. This was the little gem of this whole kit right here. The rolling in the little sprinkles, awesome. All right, let's give that a go. Mmm, <laughs> so good, love that. So you've got the really soft kind of chew in the middle, very similar to a higher chew or a softer kind of starburst, which is really zingy and lemony. But before that, you get a really fun, crunchy texture on the outside, just like you would have like sprinkles. But then you get this really great sunny burst of lemon. Love that. All right, let's try the little mini chocolate banana next. I am not too excited about this one. I am not a fan of artificial flavored banana things or bananas in general, but let's give it a go. It's 
actually better than I had expected. There's a nice chocolate flavor to that. And the texture is really, really soft, slightly wet and kind of mushy, but yeah, not too bad. All right, let's try the Ringo Ame, which is the candy apple next. Mmm. 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 That one has the oddest texture, kind of cool and jello-y, but kind of mealy and mushy. In terms of flavor, cherry, it tastes a bit like a cherry cough drop. That one is my least favorite, both in texture and in flavor. The winner for me is definitely the corn. So that was another pop and cooking kit. That was Tanoshi Omatsuriyan. Loved it, everything turned out beautifully, and it's totally appropriate for this time of year, celebrating summer. Be sure to check out my other channel if you wanna see my adventures in beekeeping. I'm way behind on the vlogs, but I'm working on them. All right, thank you guys so much for joining me. Hope you guys enjoyed that one. I hope you guys learned something. Follow me on social media, share this video with your friends, and I shall see you in my next video. Take care. Bye.